Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I'm Atul and in this video we are going to discuss how we can apply and use average function using calculative field in Looker or Google Data Studio. So as you can see over here in my table, I have the average number of items sold. But if I'll show you the raw data which I have over here, so I have used this GDS underscore 67 data in which I have category, date, quantity sold, unit price and last bought price. This data doesn't have any column over here which has the average item sold. So what we are doing over here is that we are calculating the average number of items sold per category. So in this video we will be creating this table and then we are going to apply or use the average function as a calculative field in our chart or table from scratch so that you can get the awareness that when, where and how we can apply the average function using calculative field. And before we use this function, let's understand the average function first. So this average function in Looker calculates the average value of a numeric field. So you will be able to calculate the average of a numeric field only. Now let's go and create a calculative field using the average in our table. So the process is something like this. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on edit over here so that I can go and edit this table which I have created and I'm going to remove this calculative field which I have created first. Now what I need to do over here for creating a calculative field with average function is that I need to come into the setup section. Within the setup section we have this metric section. Within this metric what I need to do is that I need to click over here which says add metric. If I click on it then you will have chart fields and default group. But instead of choosing anything from here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on create a field. Once you click on create a field then Looker will allow you to add a calculative field for your visualization widgets such as charts or tables. So I'm going to put a name over here which says that average number of an item or average number of items sold and then over here I have formula. Now in this white space I need to input the formula. So the syntax of average function is like this that you have to put this acronym which is AVG and then within brackets you have to give the numeric field for which you want to create or calculate average. So I will put AVG and as you are putting this value you will see that the intelligence of Looker will allow you to select this average function once you click on it then you can see the example summary as well as a help. If you want to learn more about it, you can click over here learn more and you will be able to learn more that how you can use this average function in your visualization widgets. Now within this bracket what I am going to do is that I am going to put my numeric field and my numeric field is quantity sold. So I will give quantity sold. Once I select it then you will see that over here Looker is showing you that formula syntax is valid. Now you can select the type over here as numbers or the comparison calculation as well as the running calculations based on your requirement you can select it. So for me in this video I just need the average of this quantity sold as per each and every category. Now whenever I am putting this formula you have to understand this that this average is getting calculated based on grouping of this category. Okay, so now if I click apply, then you will see that you have a column over here and this is the column which I had given the name average number of items sold. Now for your reference what I have done over here is that I have given the count of category. So this is count of category. Let me rename it. Okay. So this is count of category, this is quantity sold, so this is sum of quantity sold and this is average number of items sold and this is the column which we had created as a calculative field. Now if you want to cross validate your result that whether this calculative field is giving you the correct output or not then over here what you can do is that you can take this quantity sold and divide it by this 158 so this will give you the average number. Now as we have successfully applied and used the average function using calculative field, you might have a question in your mind that how does this average function works. 
So this average function takes one parameter which I have shown you the numeric parameter which must be the numeric field or a numeric expression and it returns the average of all the values of that field or expression. So you cannot apply this function to a pre-aggregated field which means that the aggregation is equals to auto or to an expression which is the result of an another expression or aggregation function. So you cannot use this average function with another aggregated functions. So you cannot put any function within the bracket of an average function. So let me put an example over here. So let me add a text over here. Okay, so what we do in average function is that we simply put average of a numeric field. Okay, let me increase the size of this one. Okay, so generally when we are using average function, we use the average keyword, which is the function keyword, and then we give the numeric field. Now, what you can't do over here is that within this bracket, you cannot use any other aggregation function, such as you cannot use some function of numeric field, and then you try to get the average of that result, which you get from this sum function. So you cannot do that. So this is how basically you can apply and use average function using calculative field in Looker or Google Data Studio. Happy learning and see you in the next video.